Hello everyone, today the church celebrates the feast day of St. Bartholomew, also known as Nathan the Apostle, so one of Jesus' twelve apostles. And we hear today in the Gospel of John his kind of calling from the Lord, the way that he is called to then come and be a part of Jesus' group of disciples. And it's through the calling of Philip that he actually comes to see Jesus, that he says, um, you know, come and see this man who we, who we know to be someone great. And it's funny because Nathaniel, as he's called in the Gospel of John that we hear from today, Nathaniel is kind of incredulous. He's, he's doubtful that this person can be the Messiah. He says, can anything good come from Nazareth? Nazareth didn't have a great reputation amongst the cities of Galilee, nor amongst all of Israel for that matter. So he's a little doubtful that this Jesus guy is going to be all that great. But then it doesn't take long for him to see that Jesus is something more. That when he comes face to face with Jesus, Jesus tells him, you know, this is a true child of Israel. And he asks him, how do you know me? And he tells him that he saw him under the fig tree before. How do you know me? What a great question for us to ask and even to ask of God. How is it that you know me, Lord? And when we have that question answered for us, we see that God is so in love with us that he knows us more intimately than we know ourselves. And at times, we don't want to show forth who we are, but God knows us so in such a beautiful way that we can be open and vulnerable with him. And we see that, that it's through this that Nathaniel comes to faith in Jesus almost immediately because Jesus speaks of how he knows him. If we allow the Lord to speak into our hearts, to tell us his love for us, for how intimately he knows us, we too could come to a greater faith. And Jesus says, you will see even greater things than this. And that's true as well. If we know our belovedness in the eyes of God, then that's just the beginning. Jesus has so much more to show us. Great miracles, great signs and wonders. And through that faith in Jesus, we continue to know him better. We continue to know him who is the author of life and the one who loves us more deeply than we could ever know.